Yes, good evening. And first tonight, a police force has told East Midlands today that a new key cloning scam is behind a spike in car thefts. Criminals stole dozens of cars in Leicestershire in one month by hacking into the vehicle's onboard computers. Well, other thieves are using scanners to access key fobs that are actually inside people's homes. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball can hopefully tell us more. Good evening, Jeremy. Hello, and yes, if you've got a nice car, you want to keep it safe, of course, and technology like this can make a huge difference. Of course, these days, most of us have these electronic locking systems. You might even have an electronic key for your car, and that's helped the car crime plummet over the last 20 years or so. All sophisticated stuff. The trouble is, the criminals are getting more sophisticated too. Claire's commute between Ruddington and Derby's just become an expensive business. She's been forking out for this hire car since hers was stolen from her drive last Friday. This is a village where thieves are suspected of breaking into several cars recently by intercepting the signals from key fobs. I woke up to discover the car was missing. It makes me really angry. Disbelief, shock, I didn't think people could nick cars really. And Nowadays everyone always says you can't steal a modern car, but you clearly can because my keys were in the house and the car was gone. It's a scam called signal relaying, and this is how it works. A thief goes to your home with a scanner that looks for the radio signal from your keys inside. It's then transmitted to the accomplice, who can open the door electronically and sometimes start the engine with it too. And now some thieves are even hacking into cars' onboard computers. What they do is simply plug into this diagnostic port, which allows them to start the engine and the police say they're often targeting models where it's easier to reach that port simply by smashing a window. This detective says the technique's been used to steal around 40 cars in Leicestershire in only six weeks. We're extremely concerned. We've seen a significant increase. Some of the cars we think are being stolen to order, others are just being used by, by joyriders, and that is an extremely dangerous pastime. I mean, it can cause danger to other road users, so we really want to try and nip it in the bud. For Claire, it's been a frustrating and expensive week. And now she's looking at extra security for when her stolen car's finally replaced. This is all very worrying, Jeremy. I mean, how can you protect your car? Well, Dominic, of course, this is a really high-tech problem, but there are some good low-tech solutions to all of this. The police say a really good deterrent is one of these good old-fashioned steering locks, and they say... These scanners often don't work if they're in a sealed metal container like this one. And we're not just talking about expensive sports cars here. Thieves are also targeting cheaper runarounds in Nottinghamshire. They've also had keyless thefts of several low-powered motorbikes. The most unusual case I've heard about, though, was in Lincolnshire last October, where thieves in Skegness stole a single-decker bus. <laughs> Good Jeremy Ball, thank you.